On page 27, uh, we're going to start with questions 1 and 2. And on the previous video, I talked about um, about thinking sub about subtraction as uh, adding the opposite. And, and this is where it's going to become true uh, when we kind of try to deal with adding these polynomials horizontally instead of lining these up vertically. So um, <clears throat> let's take a look at this first problem, if you're a little confused by what I mean. So we have this expression here, right? This expression right there. And we're going to subtract um, the second expression. So what we're going to do is, in fact, we're going to change this entire first expression, right? To from a subtraction problem to adding the opposite. Look at each term inside that second um, that second uh, expression. Everything becomes the opposite. So again, subtraction is like adding the opposite of something. So um, at this point, let's go ahead and and color code these and. and draw lines to what we're going to be matching up. Uh, we're already in blue, so we're going to match up those y squareds. And then this singular y, we're going to put right there. And lastly, uh, the constants. We're going to deal with those together as well. So let's deal with the blue first, the, the y squared. So 7y squared and negative 4y squared is going to become 3y squared, positive 3y squared, that is. And then um, the, the negative 7y um, plus the negative 2y is going to give us uh, negative 9y. And then lastly, the 7 uh, and the 3. 7 minus 3 is going to give us 4. So this expression now becomes 3y squared minus 9y plus 4. Okay, so take a look at question 2 in the same way. And again, we're going to think of this subtraction problem as adding look, the opposites. Okay, so... Uh, let's color code these again. 11r to the third power, those are going to line up. And then 6r squared is going to match up with uh, 2r squared, or the negative 2r squared. And lastly, the positive 3 is going to match up with that 8. Okay, so let's deal with the 11r squared minus 9r squared, or 11r cubed minus 9r cubed, or 11r to the third power minus 9r to the third power is going to become 2r to the third power. <coughs> Excuse me. And then 6r squared minus 2r squared is going to become, what is it, 4 plus 4r squared. And then 3 plus 8 is going to become plus 11. All right, so this is what we got here. So um, that's those are the first two questions. And uh, on the next page, we're going to be dealing with a context here. So uh, find the difference between two polynomials to solve a real-world problem. So um, Darnell and Stephanie have competing refreshment stand businesses. So Stephanie's profit can be modeled with a polynomial 2c squared minus 7c minus 200. Darnell's profit can be modeled as c squared plus 8c minus 100. So we want to know the difference. So we're subtracting the difference between the two. So it's essentially 2c squared minus 7c minus 200. We're going to do this one vertically. So we're going to subtract c squared plus 8c minus 100. So when, we're, when we subtract, we're actually, like I said, we're going to add the opposite. So this is going to become um, negative c squared, and then let's delete that. This is going to become minus 8c, and it's going to become plus 100. So now we've, we're adding the opposite of all these. So... Uh, we're just going to go ahead and do these vertically. 2c squared minus c squared is going to become c squared, or 1c squared. Negative 7c plus negative 8c is going to give us negative 15c, because we have 15 of those negative c's now. And then negative 200 plus 100 is going to give us minus 100. So c squared uh, minus 15c uh, minus 100 uh, is where we're at in terms of that expression now. Uh, and then find the difference when uh, the number of items sold is 30. C is 30. So anytime we see we see a C, we're going to plug in 30. So 30 squared. So instead of that C, I'm going to put 30 squared minus 15 times 30 minus 100. So let's see, 30 squared. 30 times 30 is 900. Minus 15 times 30 is 450 minus 100. 
uh, is going to give us uh, 350. So the difference is when when it's when C is 30 is 350. Okay. So question number two: the number of gallons of water in a leaking pool is determined by the rate that the water is filling uh, right here, that rate, and and the rate that water leaks from the pool is 9g squared minus 2g minus 5. 4g represents the number of gallons. Um, so uh, the filling is 8g minus 3g minus 4. The leaking is 9g squared <coughs> minus 2g minus 5. Uh, write an expression for the net change. Okay, so we're just going to subtract these. What's going on here? So for the first term, 8g squared plus 3g minus 4 and the second one is what 9g squared minus 2g minus 5 and they want to know the difference so we're going to actually subtract these and when we do that again we're going to add the opposite the opposite of that and the opposite of that okay so 8g squared minus 9g squared is going to give us a negative g squared 3g plus 2g is going to give us 5g uh, negative 4 and positive 5 is going to give us a positive 1. So here's the expression for uh, for that difference there, for the net change in gallons per minute. So we're actually losing more water uh, than we're gaining. And so let's see, when, when the rate is 5 gallons a minute, let's see how much water we're losing every uh, every minute here. So anytime I see a G, I'm just going to plug in 5. 5 squared plus 5 times 5 plus 1. Uh, so negative 5 squared is going to give me negative 25. Since 5 squared is 25, and then that negative attaches to that, um, to that new uh, 5 squared. Plus 5 times 5 is 25 plus 1. And when we do that, uh, look at this. This cancels out, so we get 1. So the change is... Uh, and the amount is one, one gallon.